Hello, what's up YouTube? In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can easily add shape or dimension by simply drawing lines to your portraits. And oftentimes when you're doing skin retouching, for example, or us that use frequent separation as a skin retouching technique, we tend to end up with very flat and boring photos. So this is going to be able to help you get away from those flat and boring photos. And we add shape or dimension so that we can have images that pop out of the frame or images that are going to be three dimension kind of portraits and before you can proceed i just have a request i just want you to hit the like button on this video so that youtube can push it and recommend it to more people out there and just hoping you're done hitting the like button i want to show you what i did for this image and i want to show you that i used my new kc skin tone lats for photoshop to color grade this image and I want to show you the before and after before you can proceed to the major emphasis for today's tutorial. So I want to show you the overall before and after for this image. So this is the image before and this is the after before after. I hope you can see this and let me just come and turn this off. So this is the image before and after frequency separation. I did the eye whitening to the image then I finally color graded it using my latest case is skin tone lights and if at all you are interested make sure that you check the links in the description of this fair video so that you can support this channel and these are going to be really affordable and they are going to be able to transform your images with just a single click and help you save time in photoshop while you're doing the color grading to your images or your photos so my skin tone light pack is going to be containing around five lights and the one i use for this case is the skin tone light 5 so they are going to be around 6 slats and the one I use for this image is go is KC light 5 so I'm just going to cancel and I show you the before and after color grading and this is very nice with just a single click and if I told you feel a light is very intensive or the intensity is too much you can come to the opacity and reduce on the overall opacity of that light so back to the major emphasis for this story, we just want to learn how to add shape or dimension to the photos by simply drawing lines around the image and that is going to be another technique of dodging and burning. And we're going to be using curves adjustment layers, so we're just going to come to the curves adjustment layers and before you can proceed, what is dodging and burning? Dodging and burning is more of enhancing the bright parts of the image and also enhancing the dark parts of an image. So when you are enhancing the bright parts of the image, we'll be dodging. And when you're enhancing the dark parts of an image, we'll be burning those areas. So it's just going to come the curves adjustment layers. And this is the curves adjustment layer. Make a midpoint right here and simply brighten just like that until the image is a little bit overexposed. And now close this and make sure to select this curves adjustment layer white mask and hit Control command i on the keyboard to invert or hide that effect remember in photoshop white reveals and black hides we're just going to rename this into our dodge remember we just brightened up the image and we're going to come back to the curves adjustment layers click in the middle and now take it down to darken the image slightly and we're going to make sure the white layer mask is selected and hit Control or command i on the keyboard to hide or invert that effect and we're going to double click right there and we're going to name this to burn since we have just darkened the image. So I'm just going to come to the dodge layer mask right here. Make sure you select the black layer mask and come under the brushes. Simply right click and get your soft round brush. So the hardness is going to be at 0%. Or pass at 100, flow at 100%. And now make sure the white layer mask is selected. And here make sure that you have white on top in order to reset just click on these two small squares right here and in order to go between black and white you can use x on the keyboard or simply click on these arrows right here to get white on top so we're just going to come to the areas that we want to enhance or to brighten in the image and simply draw lines using a white brush that is going to be revealing the effect hidden behind the black mask for our dodge we're just going to come and draw those lines in those areas and I'm just going to come and I draw those lines just like that and come to the cheekbone or on the cheek area and draw lines just like that so we're just drawing lines on the areas we just want to enhance 
and come and draw lines around here and come and enhance maybe on the chin area and we're going to do the same for the other areas for example this nice highlight and also enhance some areas right there we're just going to come to the burn layer mask and also draw lines again so just come and draw these lines just like that and come to this other side and also draw these lines just like that and come to this down area we're just going to draw one line and one other line just like that on the dark areas and come to this other side and also do the same so just draw a line in the shadow area so you're drawing dark lines on the shadow areas and we are drawing bright lines on the bright area so i'm just going to draw on the nose area just like that and i'm just going to enhance that even more so we are done drawing those lines so right now the next thing is going to be fading these lines into this photo so i'm just going to come to this black layer mask and when you double click on it it's going to open up the properties window and right here we have the density and the feather and the option we're going to be using for this case is going to be the feather option so just click on the feather and just start moving it towards the right hand side as you're looking at the image remember we are on the burn layer mask or the burn layer and we're just going to start moving up the point when this line is starting to disappear or get dissolved into the image and that is where we have to stop and come and select the dodge layer mask and now move the feather until those lines are going to start dissolving into the image just like that and you can see right now the image is now beautiful and it is now glowing so i'm just going to close this and i'm going to put these two in a group by selecting both the burn and the dodge layer and putting them in a group just like that to see the before and after for the dodging and burning this is the before and after before after i hope you can see how nice and beautiful the image had, has turned out to look and it is really popping and we have that nice and beautiful shape or dimension added to it so basically this is how to add shape or dimension to your images and if at all you feel the effect is too much you can come to a opacity slider and turn down the overall opacity for the dodging and burning or you can come and select an individual layer and simply reduce on the opacity depending on your taste and preference so basically this is how to enhance the images by using the dodging and burning technique of just drawing lines around your image so this is all for this story and if i told you have loved this don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe to this channel if i told you have really found this content helpful runnings from runnings photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing trails and don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating